a bill that could lead to the popular video sharing app. TikTok being unavailable in the United States is quickly gaining traction in the House, as lawmakers voice concerns about the potential for the platform to surveil and manipulate Americans. The measure gained the support of House Speaker Mike Johnson and could soon come up for a full vote in the House. The bill advanced out of committee Thursday, a unanimous bipartisan vote, 52-0. The White House has provided technical support in the drafting of the bill. The White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said the TikTok legislation still needs some work to get to a place where President Joe Biden would endorse it. The bill takes a two-pronged approach. First, it requires Biden's LTD, which is based in Beijing, to divest TikTok and other applications it controls within 180 days of enactment of the bill, or those applications will be prohibited in the United States. Second, it creates a narrow process to let the executive branch prohibit access to an app owned by a foreign adversary if it poses a threat to national security. USFCC commissioner is banning TikTok in US because according to him TikTok concerns over national security. The app's growing popularity in the US is concerning. DCAUSE Bidens, a Chinese company, owns it. That means there's potential for data on US citizens to flow back to China at 200 million downloads in the US alone. There's also a risk of a state actor using TikTok to influence American citizens. One of five FCC commissioners, Brendan Carr, tells Axios, I don't believe there is a path forward for anything other than a ban. Carr doesn't believe it's possible to sufficiently protect user data in a way that ensures it can't get into the wrong hands. The bill comes about one year after TikTok CEO was grilled for hours by skeptical lawmakers on the House Energy and Commerce Committee concerned about data security and the distribution of harmful content. That same committee met Thursday to debate and vote on the bill. Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers, the committee's Republican chair, said TikTok's access to so many Americans makes it a valuable propaganda tool for the Chinese government to explode. She also noted that its parent company Bidens is currently under investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice for surveilling American journalists 